Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby. If you're new, I'm not sure why you're clicking on this video because it's a bit of a random one today. Today, I just want us to look at some cute animals together, talk about them, and basically this video is animals that I wish that I owned and why I don't. So if you want to see some cute animals, we can look at them together. Um, keep watching and don't forget to give this video a like down below because it helps me out so much. idea for this video is a bit random but listen I cannot stop talking about different animals that I wish I could own and that's all I seem to talk about at the moment to my boyfriend and my mum and honestly I think they're sick of it and also my dad is worried that one day I'm gonna go come home with three rabbits a guinea pig and a load of rats instead of hassling my mum and my boyfriend with this I'm gonna talk to you guys you can hear some of this as well <laughs> So if you are new to my channel, then you won't have seen my Meet My Pets video. In that video, um, I obviously introduce you to all my animals. So feel free to check that out if you would like to. I will link it up here at the top. But basically I have two hamsters, three cats and two dogs. My entire life we've always had animals. They've always been a part of my life. So I think that's probably one of the reasons why I love them so much. I also just love having something to to care for like with my hamsters i love like revamping their cages giving them loads of things to do and just having something to like channel my love into and my time and efforts so if i could i would have honestly so many different pets but the only problem with that is obviously making sure that you don't hoard animals and you only have an amount of animals that you can give the proper care for and give them the like time and attention that they deserve so without further Without ado, let's actually get into some of the animals that I would love to own. The first animal that I would love to own, but I don't, is rats. Rats, I feel like, are such cute animals. Like, the idea of rats, people think they're, like, scary or gross or dirty. And from what I have heard from people who actually have rats, that's not the case. Like, they're super intelligent animals. And I love, like, how social they are and how they love to be friends with other rats and they love to cuddle. And I also love all the different varieties you can get of rats. Like, look at this Dumbo rat. How cute is that? How can anyone say that this is gross and scary? I just think they're honestly so so cute. One thing that would potentially put me off rats is the fact that they only live for around two years. Um, that's obviously similar to hamsters and that's the thing that I don't like the most about hamsters because I just think it's such a shame you just get a good bonded relationship like my hamsters come to me when I'm in my bedroom like when I speak to them they'll come and they know me and I remember with my hamsters before like my hamster Tinkerbell in particular we had such a good relationship sounds ridiculous if you're not a hamster person you don't know what I'm talking about but I absolutely loved her so so much and I was so heartbroken when she died that is something that is really sad I could only just imagine that it would be the same with rats as well aside from that rats seem like they make such great pets I feel like they're a good mix of like playful and like fun to watch as well as fun to interact with because I've seen people like train them and I've seen people get really good bonds with them and like they can do fun activities and games and I think that is so cool the main reason why I don't have rats like right now this second is obviously because I have my hamsters I live in my parents house so if I was to get a pet I mean I could ask them if I could keep them in a different room but really I wouldn't really want to keep them somewhere outside of my bedroom I don't really have the space to add a rat cage moving on from rats another animal that I would absolutely love to own but I can't at the moment is rabbits so I just think they are such cute little animals I can't even describe it they just seem so sweet 
and they're so fluffy and so cute and I know that you don't just get an animal for the cute factor but um, I think they have such sweet personalities and they're another animal which thrives having a friend I just feel like they're just such a lovely companion animal and you can litter train them the same kind of way as cats and so if I was to get a bunny even in the future I would like to free roam them and obviously I don't think that that would be a good idea since I have cats and dogs in the house. My favourite two like breeds of rabbits are Holland Lops and Flemish Giants which are completely like opposite spectrums of rabbits because a Holland Lop is like the smallest rabbit that you can pretty much get and then the Flemish Giant is one of the biggest. I just think they're both so cute. Like the Holland Lop, I just feel like it looks like the kind of rabbit that you would have on a postcard. Or when I was younger, I used to get um, animal magazines. You would get like a little notebook that came with it and Holland Lop just looked like a bunny that would be on one of those notebooks. Or like the middle page used to be a poster for your wall. Yeah, they're very cute. The other one is a lion head. They are also very cute. I love like the little fluffiness. Another animal which I would love to own but I don't is mice. Particularly female mice. Mice are obviously social animals as well. They like to live in big groups and I think they would be such a good animal to have and be able to watch because I would love to watch them playing with each other and interacting with each other. Mice in general from what I've heard don't particularly love to be handled. That possibly could be a reason why I would get mice just because I love to snuggle my pets. Other than that I don't particularly have any real reason why I wouldn't get mice. It's also really hard to find mice in my local area but if you do have a fancy mice breeder near you like a, a proper registered breeder they can really breed some absolutely beautiful breeds of mice especially those curly haired ones I think they're called Rex but I might be wrong and also I really love like Siamese ones I have Siamese cats so anything Siamese I really love but yeah they are kind of hard to find in my local area but other than that I don't really have a reason why I wouldn't own mice I would maybe own them in the future like when I move out if I have more space I might do that in the future. Along the same lines as mice is a Duprazi. Now Duprazis are kind of similar to mice and um, they're often called a fat tailed gerbil and I just think they look so so cute. Duprazis are supposed to be friendly to people. Obviously it depends what the particular animal is like whether they're more shy or more confident or more playful. I heard that even in the wild we researchers noted that Duprazis weren't too bothered by people and were quite friendly so I find that very interesting and I just think they're just something a bit unique and a bit cute. They do seem to be kind of similar to gerbils or hamsters to care for. They need a bit of burrowing space, they like to have sand, they like to have a wheel, things like that. So really there's no reason why I wouldn't get a Duprazi either but at the moment I don't have space and I only just recently discovered them. That's basically because I've been researching unique animals so much recently. So speaking of having a more unique exotic pet, there's a couple more that I am interested in. Sugar gliders, African pygmy hedgehogs and chinchillas. So sugar gliders, I just think they look so cute. Like I absolutely love their massive eyes. Sugar gliders are supposed to really bond to their owner and they're like one person Person that they associate with feeding them and things like that. Sugar gliders also like to live in pairs or groups. In the wild they would live with a group but sugar gliders do have a very specific diet and they need a wide variety of different things and for that reason I would be a bit hesitant to get sugar gliders just in case that I didn't meet one of their needs by accident. I feel like for hamsters there is so much information about what you need to give your hamsters. It's quite easy to make sure that they're getting the right nutrients whereas with sugar gliders they are a bit more uncommon and I would absolutely hate to accidentally give them the wrong thing and them to get ill or something like that and I also would add that I don't know if any of the vets in my local area would have any idea about how to treat or diagnose illnesses with sugar gliders so the other animals that 
I mentioned were African pygmy hedgehogs. Again, I would have that same worry about whether or not a um, vet would know about diagnosing illnesses with um, African pygmy hedgehogs and treating them and things like that. But I think that's slightly more likely that they will know that than with a sugar glider. With an African pygmy hedgehog, I just think they are such cute animals. Listen, I know a lot of these are just saying that they're cute, but honestly, look at this. I know that African pygmy hedgehogs can be um, grumpy, shall we say, but really it's just that because African pygmy hedgehogs are obviously prey animals, they do get very scared and can be really timid and might puff up their quills and they can do this like huffing thing at you. I would absolutely love to get a hedgehog in the future, but they're one of those animals that I feel like they just are gonna put up with you. I don't know if anyone has an African pygmy hedgehog, whether they might say differently, but from what I've heard in my research, they kind of just put up with their owner. They don't get a bond and they don't love you. They're just like, thanks for the food, mate. And they like, they don't necessarily want to socialize. You can socialize them but it's not necessarily their choice this is really random but the other thing that kind of puts me off about them is the fact that they when they run on their wheel they run and poo at the same time and they don't have like hard droppings like a guinea pig a rabbit a hamster they have like proper poos like a wet poo so they end up with like a poo ring around their wheel and they can get poo boots on their feet if you don't clean them a bit gross but look how cute they are totally makes up for it doesn't it so moving on to the next animal which is chinchillas um i actually have owned chinchillas in the past but when i got them i was quite young and i didn't really know much about them but they are such a really cute fluffy lovely animal and they live for a lot lot longer than some of the other animals i've mentioned in this video so they can live 15 years possibly longer so that would be so nice to have a companion animal for that length of time at the moment i'm 21 i'm still living in my parents house i'm still studying at university i don't know what i'm going to be doing in my life within the next three years let alone in 15. so because obviously i don't know what i'm going to be doing in the future i obviously don't want to commit to an animal that's going to live so long just now when i am a bit more settled in my life when i've got my degree when i moved out then maybe i would think about getting an animal like a chinchilla that would live for so long but at the same time this is kind of selfish but i almost want to get one for them to come with me through the stages of life but either way i believe that when you get an animal you should commit yourself to that animal for the whole life and really research and learn about that animal and what they need and how to give them the best life that's just my personal opinion but i really really value my pets and i really like strive to give them the best any animals that i get in future i do want to make sure i am going to be able to care for them and give them the best care for their entire lives i know that sometimes for certain reasons things don't always work out the way that you had planned and i do understand that i just want to do my very best to make sure that i can commit to an animal for so long and so that's one reason why i perhaps wouldn't get chinchillas right now and finally i'm just going to end on kind of a classic pet that i would love to own and that is guinea pigs i absolutely love love the guinea pig little squeak that they do basically i just love any animal that is cute fluffy likes to live with their friends i do love that i love the way that guinea pigs like run around and popcorn where they like jump up i think that is so cute i also love that there are so many different varieties of guinea pigs and all the different colorings you can even get siamese guinea pigs that is crazy um i went to a petting zoo with my mum a few years ago now and they had guinea pigs and you could hold them so what they did was they would make you sit down put a blanket on your lap and then put the guinea pig on the blanket and i remember just stroking this guinea pig thinking it was the best thing 
in the entire world. It sounds like this was when I was much younger, but probably I was like 17. So honestly, they were so, so cute. The main reason why I wouldn't have them while I'm living at home is just because I don't personally feel like I have the amount of space to home a guinea pig. Animals like chinchillas and rats, they can have like cages with a large base, but then have vertical space as well. Whereas guinea pigs, they don't climb and they can't do stuff like that. So they just need like a wide open space. And I would like to get a few guinea pigs because if they were in the wild, they're herd animals. They really thrive having lots of companions. Obviously more guinea pigs means a bigger space. And I just simply don't have the space for that. So that is the main reason why I wouldn't get guinea pigs. If there was some magical way that I could work out how to make room for guinea pigs, um, potentially I would get them in the future. But again, like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing in my life over the next couple of years. As you can tell from this video, there are so many animals and there is kind of like a common theme in that they're very cute and fluffy kind of animals I do like animals like frogs. I think it's called a Patman frog. They are really cute I personally like animals that you can interact with and watch play and stuff like that So things like geckos. I like geckos as well geckos and frogs I like the look of them But I also think that if I was to get them I would get them and then be like what do I do now? Personally, I just love mammals in general. If you've watched this far, thank you so much. I will link my pet playlist. So if you want to see more pet related content, feel free to check out that pet playlist. Thank you so, so much for watching. And if you could like and subscribe down below, I would be so grateful. Um, it just really helps out my channel. My current subscriber goal is 200 subscribers. So I'm not too far away. So maybe you could help me out with that. And hopefully that will mean I'll see you in another video soon. So let's see you later. Thank <laughs> you.